five weirdest Nokia phones ever. Nokia, as we all know, is a veteran when it comes to manufacturing handsets and led the mobile industry for the longest time. The company has so much pride in its work that it can afford to produce the weirdest and strangest handsets ever made. For that, here are the top five weirdest Nokia phones ever. Number one, Nokia Engage. Nokia's first venture into a dedicated gaming phone is the Nokia Engage. It was released in quarter four of 2003 and features a 2.1 inch display with a resolution of 176 by 208 or 130 PPI. It has a five-way directional controller along with some other dedicated keys while on the right is the keyboard for T9 input. Its main feature other than gaming is the MP3 player. It had a Symbian S60 OS, and some of us might remember that it used to look like the coolest Nokia phone ever. Number 2. Nokia 3650 The Nokia 3650 was released in quarter 1 of 2003 and sports the same display as the Engage. It doesn't have a weird form factor, but it does have a weird keyboard. Instead of having the regular T9 keypad arrangement, Nokia decided to place the keys in a circular fashion. It took some getting used to because of its keys. The problem for this phone was the 5x reboot issue that Symbian S60 was having. Number 3. Nokia 3250 The Nokia 3250 was released in 2005 and is also known as a Rubik's phone due to its ability to twist its lower part where the keyboards are to give you access to its dedicated music buttons. It has a 2 megapixel camera built in radio and was the first phone to utilize the Symbian 9.1 OS. Number 4 Nokia 7 600. Also known as a Leaf phone because of its leaf like shape, the Nokia 7 600 was released in quarter 4 of 2003, and like the 3650, Nokia has also decided to play around with its keys. Other than the odd shape, the 2-inch display and VGA camera, I don't know what else this phone can offer. Lethal when thrown, perhaps. Number 5, Nokia 6800. Released in quarter 1 of 2003, the 6800 bridged the gap between having a regular T9 keyboard and a QWERTY keyboard. The 6800 has a hinge located on its sides near the display which allows the keypad to flip 180 degrees revealing a fully-fledged keyboard. The screen would also rotate 90 degrees to accommodate your landscape type. And a bonus one for this list is the Nokia 7380. The Nokia 7380 is part of Nokia stylish Lamour collection. Released in 2005, it's the successor to the Nokia 7280 lipstick phone. It features a very small and reflective screen that doubles as a mirror, 2 megapixel camera, and a sensory navigation key. And there you have it folks, the weirdest Nokia phones ever that can make Sir Johnny Ive cringe. It also makes you wonder what other weird Nokia phones are brewing in their headquarters. I'm sure there are more out there, so feel free to share those in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, subscribe to Yigatech, and follow our other social media accounts. See you in the next video.